Hey kids, how are you? Are you guys ready for another Kid Life Midweek Bible Study? That's great, so am I. So what do you say? Everybody up on your feet, let's count it down and let's get ready to have some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, gape in amazement and awe as I attempt to tame this ferocious creature! Yah! Yah! Back I say! Back I say! <laughs> you see, everyone, this is a dangerous situation to be in, but I am an expert! Yah! Yah! Get a rope! Don't! Yo! Oh, oh! What's going on? I heard screaming! Brandon! Stand back! I am now trying to tame this ravenous beast! That's the ravenous beast? Aw, John, come on, it's just so cute. You can't not pet him. Hey, <laughs> little no. boo. A boo boo doo doo. Oh, 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 Brandon! I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. And I've got to go, so goodbye. Brandon, what are you doing? Nothing. I, I, I just, I can't do the show today. Oh. Um, so maybe you could get someone else to do it with you. Or, um, <laughs> yeah. or you could do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. We've done that before. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Nope. There you go. We got, uh, I just, what, for whatever reason, I just can't do the show. So, uh -huh. <laughs> toodaloo. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Why do you want to leave? I don't want to leave. I have to. I have a dentist <laughs> appointment uh, for, my, for my teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also... No. What do you? Let me see that. I have, uh, also my cat needs a haircut.
Oh, yeah. She needs a haircut. Sure. And um, I've got to get candles at Target. Mm -hmm. uh, those three things. And other than that, many more things. So see you later. Goodbye. Brennan, why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like anything. I always act this way. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just need to go, if you don't mm -hmm. mind. No, nope, that's all right. Nope. Oh, he right. looks good. Here we go. What's going on? The fact is, I'd rather not be here when our guest arrives. You mean Clarabelle Cupcakes? Ah! Oh, yes, her. <laughs> What's wrong with Clarabelle? What's wrong with Clarabelle Cupcakes? She's great. She's hilarious and, and kind, a, a friend to humans and animals alike. Plus, she made me this amazing balloon sword. Arr! I get it, I get it, but afraid of clowns. Why? Clowns aren't scary, they're friendly. They'll give you free balloons. I know, I do. I, I Stop. Sorry. There's just, there's something about them. I, I, I don't know if I'm worried that a balloon is going to pop or, or they're going to spray me in the face with their, their, their flower that's filled with water or they're going to make a joke about me and everyone's going to laugh. I don't know. But it's all supposed to be fun. I yeah. know. It's probably just in my imagination, but I just can't help it. Uh, okay. I understand. I but go. there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, there's a lot to be afraid of. I will be here to support you. We will be here to support you. <laughs> so put down the coat and the hat. Go have a seat, and let's try to meet our guest. You ready? Hmm? Fine. <laughs> Please welcome someone who knows stuff! <laughs> well, I guess that we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> That was a nice entrance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> oh, this is great. So, um, <laughs> who are you and what do you know? I'm Clarabelle Cupcakes, and I am a clown. Maybe you can tell from my nose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You'll need to excuse my friend. He's a little shy around clowns. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to make you a balloon animal? No, thank you. Okay. okay. So, Clarabelle, uh, what made you want to be a clown? Oh, well, my mom hired a clown to come to my sixth birthday, mm -hmm. and it changed my life. <laughs> Watching him make everybody laugh just really inspired me. I wanted to make people laugh, too, so mm -hmm. it was an easy choice. Plus, I've got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Not a fan of feet. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So, uh, what are some of your favorite gags? <laughs> well, everything. Uh -huh. I mean, balloon animals, oh. and face painting, squeezing a bunch of us into a tiny car. Ah. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, everyone loves a squirting flower. Not everyone! Oh. <laughs> Clarabelle, I'm so sorry. Could you excuse us for a second? Of course. Great. What? Can we? Yep, yep. Hey, pretend like you can't hear us. Okay. <laughs> I get it. You're afraid of clowns. I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Listen, I understand that facing your fear can be really hard, especially when it's right here in front of you. <laughs> but I need you to trust me right now. I'm just, I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I've got your back no matter what, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank Could you. Could ask Clarabelle some questions, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I think I can do this. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Ha. Ha ha ha. So, Clarabelle. Yep. What's your favorite part of being a, a being a cl 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 clown? What's your? I got it. <laughs> well, that's an easy answer. Every weekend, I go to the children's hospital and visit the patients. Oh. You go and visit sick kids in the hospital? Well, yeah. I mean, life is hard if you're sick or in the hospital. So I like to show up and help the kids think about something else for a little bit. 
maybe put a smile on their face. Yeah. Well, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is anyone ever, you know, a- afraid of you? Oh, well, sure. But you want to know what I do? What? <laughs> I let them give a little squeeze of my nose, <laughs> and that usually makes them feel better. <laughs> you want to try? I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm not so scary. I mean, who can be scary with a no so silly? <laughs> uh, thank you, Clara Bell. Thanks for coming. Oh, sure. <laughs> My pleasure. I'll see you guys later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See? I know. Bye. 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 She even leaves funny. Uh, so how are you feeling? It wasn't as bad as I expected. Well, it usually isn't. So you still want to leave? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> what? How did you? It's Bible story time with Kelly. Hey guys. Hey, Kellen. How goes it? It goes well. Today, we're going to be talking about a guy named Jacob. Many years before our story, Jacob had tricked his brother Esau out of his inheritance. At that time, Esau wanted to kill Jacob, so Jacob ran away. He started a family, he had a bunch of kids, and raised a bunch of animals. But then, God spoke to Jacob. God said, go back to your father's land and to your relatives, and I will be with you. So, God wanted Jacob to go back home which meant Jacob would have to face his brother Esau. And Jacob was real worried about it too. Huh? Great. A talking donkey. Doug. Doug the donkey. How do you know Jacob was worried? Cause I was there. I see. Jacob didn't want to go home. That's why he'd stayed away for 20 whole years. Cause he was scared of Esau. Well, you're not real, but you're right. Jacob was worried, but God promised to be with Jacob. So Jacob headed back home. That's right. He set out with a whole family and all us animals. And when we got close, Jacob sent out messengers to Esau. I can verify that. Who can? I'm Cammie, one of Esau's camels. I was there when Jacob's messengers showed up. When Esau heard his brother was coming, he sent a message right back. Said he'd meet him, sure. Along with 400 of his men. So that had to make Jacob more worried. Was Esau still angry after all these years? Was he bringing an army? So Jacob came up with a plan. Yeah, some plan. He separated the people with him into two big groups. He even separated all his flocks and herds into two groups. He was thinking that if Esau attacked one of the groups, then the other group could escape. I was just hoping I was in the escape group. Then Jacob made the smartest move of all. He talked to God. He asked God to keep him safe. He sure did. Then Jacob sent Esau a gift. Well, several gifts. He sent goats and cows and sheep and camels and donkeys. Not me. Jacob sent his brother over 500 animals. Yeah, all day long these animals kept coming. And the messengers kept coming too. These animals are from your servant Jacob, they said. He's behind us, they said. What was Jacob thinking, that he could buy Esau's forgiveness? Well, he wanted to make peace with Esau. Esau already had camels. Okay, the next morning, Jacob looked up and saw Esau, Saul's brother, and the 400 men approaching. So he separated his family into groups. And then Jacob ran ahead to meet Esau. And then Jacob stopped and bowed down. He bowed down seven times. But when Esau saw Jacob, he got up and ran towards him. We all held our breath. (gasps) Esau ran up to Jacob, picked him off the ground, and hugged him. (sighs) Can you believe it? 
Esau forgave Jacob, and they both cried with joy. Their families were reunited. Yeah, I guess God really was with Jacob all along. Yep, 20 years is a long time to fight with someone. But in the end, Jacob finally made up with his brother. Thanks for your help, Doug. Cammy. Yep. No problem whatsoever. Jacob had a good reason to be worried. And we all worry sometimes. But it's important to know that you can trust God even when you're worried about something. God was with Jacob. God is with you. So talk to God. Ask God for help. Tell God how you feel. It could be what you're worried about isn't as bad as you think. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, what are, you, what are you doing there, Brandon? Well, now that I face my fear, I think I can see the appeal behind clowns. Oh. Check it out. It's a dog. Oh! I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, good, good. It's fine. Me too. Reveal the question. Oh, yeah, today's question is what do people worry about? Oh, people worry about so many things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some people worry about money. Mm -hmm. Or their health or, or the weather. Yeah, some people worry about clowns mm. or speaking in public or being in tight spaces. Oh, that's me. Yes. Yeah. Well, whatever you worry about, remember, God is with you. That's right. And mm -hmm. we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yeah, we will. Huh? What? I don't know why it's not working for you. I don't know. All I Can do I is... try it? Uh... See? It's easy. Uh, you're, you're, oh, you're in a box. You're trapped in a box. <laughs> oh, I was gonna okay. say, uh, 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 flying a kite. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. You're so good at this. Okay. Tying, tying, double nutting. Tying, tying, double tying the other shoe. Oh, okay. oh. I tie one shoe. Yeah, then then I makes, tie the other yeah, shoe. So. Can I yeah. try to do it on mine? Yeah, come on. Uh, oh, the Declaration of Independence. No. Oh. You're That's... signing a contract for a new house. Okay. Yes, I was Thank signing you. the deed. Yeah. Oh. In a cloud house. <laughs> hey, here. everybody. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is Clarabelle, and this yeah, is the Clarabelle sun sun the cloud. <laughs> <laughs>Alright, so here we are wrapping up this whole series of learning about trust. And trust is putting your confidence in someone that you can depend on. Now, in our story today, who had a big worry? Who in our story today had a big worry? Yeah, Jacob. Jacob was worried about Esau that he was going to be still ticked off at him from all those years ago. You know, my pops used to have a saying that worrying, it's like rocking in a rocking chair. You're doing something and getting nowhere. And Jacob was exactly like that. He was worrying about something and it was doing him no good. He just needed to go and face his brother and he needed to remember what God had told him, that he was going to be with him. So anyway, let's, let's continue on. What does it feel like in our hearts when we worry? What does it feel like in our hearts when we worry? Man, sometimes it's just like this thumping in our chest, right? Like, oh man, I can hardly breathe. It's just anxiety. It's, it's this, whew, man, it makes us feel miserable, doesn't it? And it's hard to sleep sometimes. It's almost like somebody standing on your chest makes it hard to breathe sometimes, and it's just this unsettledness. And God doesn't want us to live that way, which is the next question. Do you really think God wants us to worry? No, God tells us not to worry. Instead, to trust Him. That's what our memory verse is this month. The Bible says to trust in the Lord with all our hearts, we're not to depend on our own understanding. We're constantly trying to figure things out up here. And that's only natural, but God's saying, look, don't lean on your ability. Trust in Him. Trust in God. Have you ever been worried because you didn't know what was going to happen next? Yeah, I know I have been. Whether it was a job interview, whether it was a move, listen, when Jody and Grace and myself moved here from Florida, I'll admit, I was a little concerned. We, we moved here and I had not even seen where we were moving in, what we were moving into. We, we just saw it online and they didn't have pictures of it online. 
we just had to trust that it was a nice place. I was a little concerned of what my whole family was moving into, but there was some concerns there of, are they going to like it? Is Grace going to like the school? Is the church going to accept us? But you know what? In my heart, I knew this is where God was leading us. I knew this was the church that God wanted my family to be at, and so I had to trust Him. And it was hard because in my flesh, so to speak, I wanted to worry because there was so many other peripheral things that, man, I was just worried about. But in my heart, the main thing was the spiritual things of where God wanted me, and I just had to trust Him that all these other things would work out. And you know what? They did, and they have. And so I continue to trust Him that everything else will work out. So let me ask you this. Besides using our worry, what are, what are some things that you can do when you're worried? Besides using our worry, what are some things that you can do when you're worried? In other words, sometimes we just use our worry to make excuses or to, to keep us from doing things that we should do. So instead of doing that, what are things that we can do when we're worried to keep from using it as an excuse? Pray. Yeah, that's a good one. What else? Trust. Exactly. Talk to a parent. Awesome. Exactly. There's so many things we can do. So here's what I want you to do. Whenever you get time, whether it's tonight at dinner or right after you finish watching this video, why don't you talk to your mom or dad or a grandparent? Ask them to share with you a time when they felt worried but then they decided to trust God instead. And just listen to how they walked through that time in their life, and that'll help you when you face another time that you might be worried or anxious about an outcome. All right, but just always remember, you can trust God even when you're worried. Trust, putting your confidence in someone you can depend on, and that someone is God. You can always trust God no matter what. Well, kids, that's all the time we've got for today. But remember, join us next week. Join us this weekend because, man, we're kicking off that new series, Cliffhanger, learning about grit, and I can't wait. It is going to be awesome. But for right now, right hand up in the air, high five. I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your week.